Yeah? Jody. Hey, it's, it's Ryan. Ryan? I was just wondering if you got my email. What, what, wait, what, what email? The one I sent three days ago. You know, I've, I've actually been having problems with my computer. What, what was the email about? Dinner, tonight, fancy restaurant. <laughs> anyway, it, it's too late now, so maybe another time? Shit. Shit, I'm so sorry. I... You, no, why, why don't you just come over here for dinner tonight? I mean, you wanted to see my apartment anyway, so... Uh, sure, but I... How about around eight? Just... Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll bring a kick-ass bottle of wine. See you later. Now I get why you blasted my computer. You didn't want me to see Ryan. It's not your call, Aiden. I can do what I want. Fuck this. Fuck this! We're not gonna start this again. I'm not yours, Aiden. I can have a relationship with whoever I want. This is my life. Okay, do you fucking hear me? This is my life. You know what? I happen to think Ryan is great. He's charming, he's intelligent, he's funny. And I think I'm falling for him. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's seven o'clock. I have an hour to make dinner, tidy up, and make myself look. I know it. I gotta find something I can make in one hour with what's ever left in the fridge. Asian beef, huh? I mean, that looks good. It's not too complicated. Curried chicken with oven-baked vegetables. It'll take some time in the oven, but it seems doable. Pizza delivery. I mean, it's... Not exactly gourmet, but it, it, no preparation, no mess. I mean, it could be an option. Pizza. I mean, it's it's the easy way out, but he's not gonna mind. Now I'll call him. <gasps> you know, you're wasting your time, Aiden. You're not gonna stop me from seeing Ryan. The trash can in the kitchen. Books, okay, on the bookshelf. Okay, great. Pizza, the um, Super Supreme. Um, like eight, eight fifteen. 
Yeah. Uh, 6192 Columbus Street. Yeah, the ninth floor. Okay, cool. Great, thanks. Oh, I'm not too proud of myself, but at least we're gonna eat. in the basket in the bathroom. All right, there. Oh, crap. Crap, he's early. I'm coming! Take a shower first? Come on, Aiden, don't be a pain in the ass. What should I wear? Oh, hey, Ryan. Yeah, whatever. I just like threw these old things on because, yeah, I'm cool. I'm cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna be me. I mean, there's no point in me throwing myself at the guy. <laughs> Might as well just give up, Aiden. Okay? This date is going on. Period. I didn't behave yourself. Okay, this is important to me and I'm counting on you. I 
<laughs> uh, Chateau Margot, 2001. The guy in the stores, that was a pretty good year. That sounds good to me. So. Why don't you sit? Um, I'll get the, um, the thing that opens the wine. <laughs> it's a cool apartment. Huh? Yeah, thanks. I didn't. For fuck's sakes. You want me to open it? No, no, I'll do it. <laughs> to your new apartment. To my new apartment. <laughs> wow, so when did you move in? Ago, the agency found it for me, and all furnished and everything. Which is, it's actually the first place I've ever had just by myself. So it's weird. Getting used to the idea. <laughs> and how about you? Where, where do you live? Oh, I have uh, a place just outside town. It's small, but you know, it's got a little garden. And... and did you did you grow up here? Or... No, no. I, I was born in Oregon. Yeah, my parents and brother still live there. But I, I moved out when I was 16. It, it's nothing. It's just... Aiden's messing with us. Ignore him. Ignore him. How did you end up joining the CIA? I, uh, I went through college, not really knowing what I wanted to do. Uh, tried the army, you know, for the action, travel, adventure, <laughs> long enough to realize that wasn't for me. <laughs> and when a CIA agent recruiter approached me, I, I jumped at it. Hold on. Hey, how's it going? All right. You keep the change. Thanks. I ordered pizza. I I, I, I hope that's... No, pizza's good. Don't sweat it. So we've been working together now for what? what two years? I know almost nothing about you. Nothing much to say. Yeah, you know, your parents. Do you uh, you still see them? No. No, I don't. I'm. I think they were just terrified about how different I was. <laughs> Are you sure everything's okay? Yes, everything's fine. Aiden is just, <laughs> he's just feeling a little nervous. It's okay, really. Yeah, did, did Nathan ever manage to explain to you why you have this link with Aiden? No. I mean, not really. I mean, they learned a lot of stuff about the infra world. Really not much about Aiden. I mean, I, I don't think even he knows who or what he is. That's like... Jody, I, 
I think there's something wrong with Aiden. Oh, give me a second. I'm fed up with you and your goddamn jealousy. So why don't you just go back to whatever ethereal fucking place you came from and let me get on with my life? Get out of here! Do you fucking hear me? Get the fuck out! Uh, what about you? Do you have do you have any family here? No, no. My uh, my parents are still in Oregon. Go to see them as little as possible. <laughs> and are you um? Are you married? <laughs> Aiden's not happy with me being I don't give a damn how Aiden feels. How about you? Anyone on your radar? I've got Aiden, so... I mean, anyone in our world. You know what? Aiden kind of has always made people run away. Or, or maybe it's me. Maybe I'm just too odd for anyone to be interested in. You're special, Jody. Ian's got nothing to do with this. I'm sorry. No, I, I, I thought you... No! No, it's not, it's, I, I, it's my fault. I'm, I just, I, I, I can't. I'm... Uh, I, I better go. Are you happy, Aiden? You got what you wanted. Yeah, I know it's not your fault. I completely freaked out. He's gonna think I'm an idiot. I am such a fucking idiot. You know, you were right. Maybe he's just not my type. I wonder if anyone is. I've always got you, Aiden, right? I'm so tired. Can we go now? Oh, jeez. Is that what time it is? <laughs> I'm sorry. I was concentrating on my work. I know you've had a long day. Hey, this morning I bought your book. What do you say we get you tucked in and I read to you? Yes, please. <laughs> I must have left it in the other room. Why don't you go in there and get it? I'll finish up here and then we can go, okay? Sure, I'm on it. <laughs> so, 
Where did he leave that book? You found it. Now we can get down to the serious business of bedtime stories. Jody? Jody, you okay? You look pale. She looks dead tired is how she looks. Come on, Nathan, let's get her off to bed. Yes. Yes, hold on. Nathan, it's for you. Nathan Dawkins. Nathan? Nathan, what's up? They were coming back from my mother's. Truck. Drunk driver. Wrong side of the road. They're dead. Jody, let's get you off to bed. And stay right here. I'll be right back. Come on, Jody. Jamal Sheikh Sharif, one of the most dangerous warlords in the country. He commands a heavily armed militia, using it to control several important districts in the city, which means none of our humanitarian aid is getting through. You have to find Jamal and eliminate him. Now, he relocates twice a day. Last time we pinpointed him was at the Zanaki Hotel, which is right here. Not much of a chance he's still there, but it's as good a place as any to start looking. You'll be on your own this mission. No direct engagement with the enemy, no backup. You identify and eliminate your target, then activate your GPS beacon so we can extract you. We need to get you out before sunrise, so don't waste any time. But the last American soldier that was captured here was pulled through the city behind a jeep. They found his head, one of his legs in a fishing boat. I wouldn't recommend it. I'll be back before they even realize what's happened. Watch yourself out there, Jody. I don't want anything to happen to you. We still have time before I go, right? Good luck, 
Jody. No direct engagement with the enemy, no backup. Check that there are no soldiers around, Aiden. And we pinpointed him was at the Zanaki Hotel, which is right here. See if you find anything. Great. Now let's go. Get rid of him. Zanaki Hotel.
They've gone. There's one not far from here. Should be easy to find. The 
cathedral. From where did I see it in my vision? They came here. did the job for me. if I don't help him. I don't understand a word you're saying. Salim. Salim. Your name is Salim. Salim. Jody. I'm jo Jody. Jody? Yeah. Yeah, Jody. 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 Oh, shit. Oh, looks like we have some new friends. تكون مسلحة.
gotta get out of here before more show up. Good team, don't we, Salim? <laughs> the sun is rising. It's gonna make it tough to not be seen now. The tower. The tower's over there. That's where I need to go. What have I got to lose? Going straight through. Stay close, okay? Get rid of him. Get rid of him. Get rid of him. Get rid of
slow lane. I'll try to get by without being noticed. This is where we have to go our separate ways. I must go. Do you understand, Salim? La na truku ki? Yum kinuni al baka u la janibu ki? Hasta tiu musa hada tu ki? Sorry, but you can't come with me. You're really brave, Salim. Someday, this is all going to be over. And you can just go back to being a kid. Jamal was around here somewhere. I don't have much time. Here. Okay, now find a place close to the house where I can take cover.
You know what you have to do. Find your mall, I don't That's him. I won't be able to get close enough. You're gonna have to do it, I to do it. Orders are orders. The guy's got blood on his hands. He deserves to die. Come on. I can do this. I can kill him. I can kill him. Salim? Abi! Abi! La! La ta mucha, Abi! And Abi haja ilayka! La ta trukni! La ta trukni! He's your father? Ni maza fa'alchi zalek! Fakal tu ana ki sajikachi!
10 years in the CIA. Never seen anything like it. Boss sends his own private helicopter to get an agent back. All the top brass are crazy about you, Jody. You and Aiden, of course. Jody, you okay? Listen, I know this one was tough, but it's over. I'm going home. Just another mission accomplished, right? I'll never forget what I saw back there, right? Never. How's your leg? Better when this painkiller kicks in. And the international community had just announced its official recognition of the election of the new president, Jamal Sheikh Sharif. Jamal Sheikh Sharif, one of the most dangerous warlords in the country. And now, sources report that he and all his government were assassinated in what appears to be an unclaimed attack. You have to find Jamal and eliminate him. Hopes were high that the newly recognized President Jamal Sharif would be able to put an end to the hostilities that have ravaged his country for many years. A number of world leaders have already expressed outrage at what appears to be nothing less than a cold-blooded execution. You have to find Jamal and eliminate him. <laughs> What are you talking about? Jamal wasn't a warlord. He was the president. He was the democratically elected president. Your point? We're not politicians, we had our orders. You knew I wouldn't have murdered him. So you lied to me. Welcome to the CIA, Jody. It's not fucking choir practice in case you haven't noticed. Now we had a job to do and we did it. End of story. This might just be a fucking job to you, okay? But I don't go around killing people because some poor fucking star general tells me to. What's going on? Joe, listen, listen, you calm down. All right, we'll get back home and we'll talk about it, okay? You manipulated me. You used me to do your dirty work. What difference does it make? Jody, you was a dead man walking with or without you. I have blood on my hands. Some kid lost his father because of me. Because I trusted you. Because I trusted we were doing the right thing. What am I, me, Brian? A toy? Some fucking puppet that you can just do whatever you want with? We're getting massive turbulence. Fuck! I can't, I can't control it. Jordan, for God's sake, you're gonna kill us. No one's ever gonna lie to me again, Ryan. Johnny! Fuck!
through being a toy. You tell them that if they try to find me, I'll kill them. Jody, listen. Tell them, Nathan. Jody, my little princess. Oh, Ooh, let me look at you, girl. Oh my God, what a beautiful young woman you've become. Just as pretty as ever. Though sad and lost, like the first time I saw you. You can't even imagine how much I missed you. And how's that? I did. Oh, yeah. Uh, good to see you too, buddy. Walk with me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was worried. They're looking for you. I had to run away. I mean, I had no choice. How's Nathan? Oh, he's the big boss now. He's running the DPA. <laughs> he's come a long way since the days of our little lab. And you? What are you working on? I'm running a small group. We're trying to classify types of entities, see if they're different species, that kind of thing. It's not the highest priority, but I get to do what I want. So. <laughs> Have they made any progress on the infraworld? Oh, they've sunk millions into developing a new condenser, the most powerful ever created. Of course, that was only possible once the army got involved. What I talked to you about? Find out anything? On the day you were born, a woman named Nora Gray had a child in the DPA hospital. Her child was declared stillborn. Where is Nora now? She was interned in a psychiatric hospital just after she gave birth. According to her file, she should still be there now. My mother's locked up in a mental hospital. I'm sorry, Jody. I've got to go see her. Jody, I know how you feel, but she's in a mental hospital. You might not get the answers you're looking for. I'm not looking for answers. I just need to see her. I mean, don't you understand? She's my mother. If I could look her in the eye, I could find out who I truly am. Jody. She's in a high security DPA facility, and you're wanted by every law enforcement agency in the country. You won't be able to walk right in. Nothing's gonna stop me from seeing her. a huge risk helping me. Thank you, Cole. Hey. You didn't think I was gonna let you go alone, did you? I don't like 
it, Jody. No guard on gate. Empty parking lot. Something doesn't feel right. I'm not back in three minutes. Just go. Girl, I didn't come here to wait in no car. Cole, Cole, wait. Come to see Nora Gray? Can I see your authorization? M maybe we can go without authorization this time. I mean, maybe we can just come to some kind of an arrangement. I'm sorry. All visitors must have the correct authorization. Okay, so it didn't get him this time. But next. I'm working on it. I was afraid you'd say that. Hey, we don't know what room she's in. I'll find out. Founder, Nora Gray, seventh floor, room 43. So far, so good. Jesus. Crazy folk really freaked me out. Can we find room 43 and get the hell out of here? Jody, I'm here.
I'll wait here. Jody, she may have lost her mind. She might not even know you're there. Maybe you shouldn't go in. take care of everything. It's for the best. You know that. That's my baby! Bring her back! I've changed my mind! I want her to hit Sedate her quickly! Please! Get the baby oh, out of here! Let us know as soon as anything unusual happens. Decrease the dose. Make sure she never regains consciousness. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was my fault. What I did. so much. What happened? What did they do to you? The drugs they gave me trapped me in this hell. There's nothing, nothing I can do. Just wait for it to end. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you out of here. I'm gonna help you. It's too late, Jody. It's too late. I love you more than anything else in the world. Nothing will ever change that.
always be with you. Sorry, Jody. Powerful condenser ever created. Impressive, isn't it? Nathan! Oh. Jody, it's good to see you. I was afraid something happened to you. You've lost weight. You look exhausted. But at least you're alive. Let's go into my office. Please, have a seat. How do you feel? <laughs> um, I've been better. That hit on the head did not help. No, I'm sorry. I told them not to hurt you. I just didn't want to give you a chance to use Aiden. What happened to my mother, Nathan? was unstable. They were afraid she was a danger to herself and her baby. My mother would never hurt me. They couldn't take that chance, look. I was a researcher at the DPA, Jody. I didn't discover until much later what happened. Where's Cole? He's at home, he's fine. I know he was trying to help you. Don't worry, there won't be any consequences for last night. Why did you never tell me about my mother? Why did you hide the truth all these years? I tried to tell you. But how do you tell a little girl that her life isn't real? So, I looked after you. Loved you. Tried to protect you as best as I could. So now what? You're just gonna hand me back to the CIA? Is that the plan, Nathan? They brought you here because they have something for you to do, and they'd be very grateful if you do it. Help them? You want me to help the people that took away my mother and stole my life? I mean, haven't I done enough? We know another country has discovered the infraworld. They think it's something to be controlled or manipulated. They have no idea what they're dealing with. If entities enter our world, do you know what that would mean, Jody? What has all this got to do with me? Because you know the infraworld better than anyone. It's the CIA's job. And I'm done with that. They want to offer you a deal. You do this for them. And they let you out, you're free. Jody, do you? 
you know what would happen if a passage is open? It'll be the apocalypse. You have the power to stop this. <laughs>